Okay, finally got my radiator loose here. So, yeah, you need these fitting tools. Actually, I bought all these tools. Uh, these are the tools to take the ring, uh, loosen the ring here. Hopefully, this is the right thread for my new, uh, uh, that thread right there is the right thread for my new radiator. That's what I'm concerned about. That thread's going to match up in my new radiator. Because uh, that bottom, the bottom uh, transmission line is a screw in only. It's not a quick release uh, clip. Uh, it's got these little clips on it. It's uh, the bottom one's not a clip on, and they gave me a clip on one for the new in the new radiator. And I'm hoping these threads are going to match up. And so, yeah. This is where the leak was. You can see I tried to patch it. Apparently it's still leaking, so we're just going to swap it out. There's this little line here. I'm not sure what that line is. But that line's got to come out. Of course, we have to take this out. And, and we can get and look how, see how dirty this is. This might, might be just from spilling oil on it. Oh well, yeah, that's what it looks like. I just need to uh, assemble in reverse order. Here is going to be the same fitting. So luck, we lucked out here. Got the same fitting. So this is the threads on the new one. This is the old radiator. And it looks like, and you can see, the crack right there, right near that seam. Right there is where I didn't get a crack right there. And it actually cracked right here too. Yeah, it, it cracked pretty bad. Right there, it looks like it cracked there too. Pretty well cracked up. These plastic radiators aren't all they're cracked up to be sometimes. So, now I just need to put the new one in. 